Hello, my name is Jamie Yip, and this is my Enbody It's Stream class that I designed for Project Zero of Berkeley's CS61B class. What I decided to implement into my universe simulator is a spaceship that fully obeys the laws of physics controlled completely with my mouse. The spaceship will always point in the direction of my pointer, and if I hold down the mouse button like so, then it will fire the spaceship forward in the direction of my mouse. Now, a lot of features about this spaceship are customizable, as you can see here, and they may be confusing, but I have implemented a command where you can see what the commands mean, and you can customize your own spaceship by typing in Java and body help, and this will give you the format for what you need to type in order to properly create the spaceship. Now, you can notice that in here, Spaceship X and Spaceship Y, I have put the spaceship at the location of Earth for my file. I'm going to replace that with R, which will put the spaceship to a random X and a random Y, just because it's cooler. Now, a few more features about the spaceship. Like Pac-Man, for the spaceship, if it exits the radius of a universe, it will loop back to the other end. Why that is, I don't know. Maybe universe is a circle or something else, but for the spaceship, it can never leave the confines of the universe, just to make it a bit more interesting. So yes, it is very possible to reach an infinite velocity, although not technically infinite, because if it ever approaches a speed of light, it will explode. The spaceship is not invincible, as I showed earlier at the start of the video. If it ever approaches a g-force higher than 6, which is the limit of what the human body can take, it will explode. So if I try to run a low-mass spaceship with a sufficiently high force that pushes it, the spaceship will explode the instant it tries to run. This can also apply for when the spaceship flies into a body with extremely high mass, like the sun. As it is pulled closer, it experiences, oh wow, it didn't explode in that case. In this case, it just goes launching into space. It's interesting. But yeah, there are quite a few things we can play around with for the spaceship. For example, if I set it to an extremely low mass and an extremely low speed, it will be more affected by gravity but it will also be extremely fast because its mass is so low and its force is the same as its mass, which essentially allows it to zoom around the screen. More interestingly is what happens if I set the mass to a very high amount. For instance, if I set it higher than the mass of the sun, in this instance, then it begins to have a visible effect on the celestial bodies. Yo. Notice the sun barreled straight towards me because my gravity was actually higher than the sun's. In this case, oh wow, look at this. I can make the planets essentially ping pong around. Let's do that again. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. And this spaceship works in every file possible. For instance, if I put it into a more complicated file, such as for ellipses, let's take it out of the solar system and into a more fun universe. This one is very complicated, but because of my high mass, just my existence as a spaceship will leave everything in chaos. Yep, no four ellipses today. Or we can try it out in a program such as... Atom. Oh yeah, so there's some electrons flying around, here's the nucleus, and you'll see that I can essentially just disturb the orbit so much that they are left to free fall through space. But I was able to catch that one, not when it's gone. So, let's go back to our own universe, and let's change it back to a more reasonable amount. 
Something interesting I observed while conducting experiments with the spaceship was that if you launch it at just the right angle into an object of high enough mass, it can shoot off at a different angle, which is kind of similar to how spaceships work in real life. Oh, see like that? Just like that. Maybe the velocity it went off at was a bit too high, but just like in real life, if you approach an object and get caught into its orbit, you can use this to essentially direct yourself throughout space. And I think this technique is somewhat similar to what actual spaceships use, which makes the simulator pretty interesting, just like that. You see again? What? <laughs> oh, and they go flying around again. But yeah, this was my CS61D Project Zero, and thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun making this spaceship, and it's really cool how you can just play around with this. It's almost like... Yeah, thanks for watching.